Governor Maggie Hassan toured the Seabrook Station nuclear power plant Friday. Seabrook supplies 40 percent of the state's electricity, and the governor says it has an important role as New Hampshire looks toward energy for the future. WMUR-TV reports Hassan says it will be critical as an energy plan is developed that looks at all different sources of energy. A House committee has recommended the full House kill a bill to require labels on processed foods that contain genetically engineered ingredients. This week's vote by the Environment and Agriculture Committee was 12 to 8. The Concord Monitor reports opponents argued the bill would be expensive to enforce and that the health risks associated with genetically engineered products may be overblown. A 38-year-old Hampton man has been charged with using the internet to illegally sell guns. Federal authorities say Matthew Krasafi used a website to negotiate a deal with a buyer who was actually an undercover officer. He allegedly shipped weapons to the undercover officer through a New Jersey location where they were seized. He faces three counts of unlicensed sale of firearms. 24-7 News, New Hampshire, continuing news, weather and traffic updates. I'm Lynn Ashmanov.